Hey, my name is Eric Thornton. I am a director here with Leadership Network, and uh, I've got Ben Daly, a lead pastor at Calvary Church, joining me today, and we are talking about the important topic of succession. We have a succession conference coming up here in October that we'd love to invite you to. Ben uh, has been so gracious to host us, and, uh, but Ben's got a unique perspective because he's processed through succession. He's a successor there at Calvary. And uh, Ben, I just love to hear from you some of your takeaways, some of the uh, piece that you've got a unique experience there. Uh, what are, why is it so important that we're having this discussion? Why is it important that pastors join us for this discussion? And what was something that maybe you took away was a real valuable piece of, of learning information? Well, thanks so much, uh, Eric. And uh, I'm so honored to be a part of uh, this uh, one day gathering, you know, uh, October 14th to uh, discuss the uh, scary topic of uh, succession. You know, let me say this first, Leadership Network has literally changed my life uh, over the past uh, few years and how I do this thing called ministry. Uh, Y'all have helped me uh, explore new ideas. You've uh, given me a practical insight uh, on putting these uh, uh, crazy ideas into motion. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you, Eric, and to so many, uh, man, mad props to everybody at Leadership Network. I sure do appreciate you guys. But uh, succession, man, it's, it's a scary topic, but I think it's one that most pastors steer clear of. But uh, you guys are smart. We better talk about it because uh, estimates have it that within the next uh, eight to 10 years or so, more than one third of American churches will experience pastoral transition. And it's not by transition, but by attrition. And that means almost 125,000 pastors who are leading churches today, they're not going to be pastoring anymore. And wow. th th this may be uh, a scary topic, but I'm so glad for you guys. You're always ahead of the curve. You know that we've got to get serious about it, and we've got to talk about it. But uh, I want to thank you guys for that. I, I've had the incredible privilege of serving on church staffs. I, I've been a church planter, uh, a, a ministry consultant. Uh, for the past seven years, I've been in, in succession. And to give you just a little background, I'm following after a man who has served uh, an incredible 42-year wow. tenure in the same church. Yeah. Now, Eric, that's longer than I've been alive. Yeah. So I stand on some pretty broad shoulders, and there's no doubt about it that, that uh, you know, it's tough. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Succession is tough. In fact, uh, when people ask me about it, I, I call it brutal. It's, <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Uh, but it's brutal at the same time. And why is it so tough? Because, come on, you're dealing with the delicate uh, balancing act of the past and the future. You're standing in the middle, uh, right between what was, and you've got to go out ahead and, yep. and, and say, it's better out here. We need to go this way. So you're dealing with one man letting go and another man taking hold. So you've got all kinds of insecurities. You've got emotions. You've got a whole bunch of control issues to deal with. That's why I'm seeing a counselor every week. But uh, as, as daunting as succession can be, I'm telling you, there is one aspect that cannot be overlooked uh, if, 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 if you expect there to be what I would call success in succession. And uh, it's this word honor. In, in fact, I really believe that honor is the trigger of God's blessing. And uh, I've got a new book right here, shameless plug called Collide, deals with when your desires meet God's heart. I talk a lot about honor. Let me give you an example real quick. The Gospel of Mark describes a time when Jesus went back to his hometown. And while his teachings were incredible, the people did not honor him. And it says that he could not do any miracles there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark's, uh, Mark uh, 6, uh, 4 through 6 says, that their lack of faith and unwillingness to honor him effectively tied his hands. So honor is absolutely essential in succession. Unconditional honor. You honor 
your leader by treating him the way that God treats him with a powerful blend of, of grace and 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 truth and in focusing on the good and you're going to have to overlook some trivial annoyances and you're going to have to do your best to resolve genuine problems and you got to create an atmosphere where god can and will do miracles he will pour out his blessing on the delicate transition of of succession and what's crazy that honor is only one of the many aspects of successful a succession that I cannot wait to talk about uh, at, at Leadership Network's one day gathering on succession. It's October 14th. Eric, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I really think that it's going to be a great platform for many pastors to see succession and to see a great legacy. Man, that's such a great word. And uh, like you said, this is, this is a foremost topic right now. And, um, it is a scary thing to talk about, uh, talk about your own transitioning out. Uh, a lot of people don't want to approach that, but it is important. But man, I just love what you had to say there about honor, honoring the guy before you, and then um, honoring the guy coming behind you. You know, if you're a successor, honoring the guy that's coming behind you, and you can build that up. You set the tone of how that how that's going to be. Uh, you're so you're so right. And what's key about honor is. We not only honor up, but uh, we, you know, uh, um, a vertical, but we, we, we honor horizontal Absolutely. and we also honor down. So yeah. what, what you're saying is so key for success and training. That's good, man. Well, man, thank you so much for hosting us. We're excited to be at your place. Um, everybody watching, I hope that uh, you'll jump online here, sign up, register, get set October 14th. We're going to be here at Calvary Church, real close to the DFW Airport. If you want to fly in for a day, three uh, minutes. In. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Warren Bird's going to be there sharing his info and his new book. Dave Travis is going to be there with us. Ben's going to be talking about his personal experience. So it's going to be a fantastic deal. Hey, Ben, can you pray for all these pastors that are watching here with us that are processing through transition, uh, processing through what it means to uh, be a successor or be in that? plan of succession and just uh pray for these guys as they're prayerfully considering what this means for them absolutely and i, and I just want to say we're three minutes from the dfw airport from from the gates so you can fly in from anywhere uh, lord i pray right now for all of my friends who are uh doing what you call them to do they're they're, they're pastoring they're leading people they're serving people they're loving people but at the same time, they know there can be no uh, success without succession. There's got to be uh, someone coming along and sons that are being raised up. And uh, Lord, as, as guys are thinking about it and processing it, uh, let this just be a gift from you to them. Uh, this opportunity that Leadership Network is giving, that we can talk about it, process, and see some good, healthy transition that not only blesses the one that's coming up, but it's going to be a great blessing to the one who's leading the way. And so, Lord, I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man, Ben, thanks so much. We look forward to being there with you soon. Look forward to it. Thanks.